Everybody has his own special dream of what the world's going to be like in the future. But we all know it's steadily shrinking. One of these days, we're going to wake up and find that people and places we used to just read about are probably in our own backyard. Cluster maps have been really motivating for uh, my fifth graders to use. We've been tracking the number of hits on their podcast, and um, when it was all new and fresh, the kids were hopping on the cluster maps themselves and saying, oh, we got a hit from Pakistan, someone visited from Singapore. Jody Alpers is a fifth grade teacher at Goodhue Public School, and this fall she did a project with her students where they wrote their own uh, fractured fairy tales. And uh, then we, we brought them into the lab, and they recorded themselves reading their stories. And then using Audacity, created podcasts where they added sound effects, uh, manipulated their voices, and, and so on. Um, we publish these podcasts with uh, Podbean, which which creates a kind of a, a blog for you here, where you can publish your 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 audio files into into a podcast. And one of the features we added to this blog or this podcast blog is a cluster map. And what a cluster map is, let's get down to it here. A cluster map is is just a little map that tracks the visitors to your to your site. And so. When we started out, it was just you know one or two little dots on this map. But as more people visit the site, it puts more little dots on there. So if I click into there, you can see the map a little bit more detailed. Um, and what she what she does in her class then every day. You now the project's done, um, but the learning continues to happen because every uh, part of her daily routine is the kids pull up their cluster map to see if they got any new hits. If you want to use cluster maps on your own blog, wiki, or web page, you can find them in the digital backpack under Fun Tools. And if you scroll down to the uh, category for visualization, uh, they're right here. Also, revolver maps are another similar, um, similar tool that gives you a three-dimensional globe that will track where visitors on your website are from. But I'll just walk through setting up a cluster map for your, for your site. So I'm going to do this for um, for a, a class I'm, I'm teaching right now. My students in my web design class are using um, a wiki spaces to uh, create a wiki for the class. So I'm just going to copy the web address at the top in the address bar. I go here to cluster maps and paste that URL right there. And then I'll put my email on here. And I'm going to make my map.
and it gives me a couple different options here. Um, and I'm just going to take the recommended option here. But it, what, it, what it does here is it gives me this code. And I need to copy this code. And then I need to go over to my website. So in this case, I'm going to use the uh, um, I'm going to use this uh, wiki page here. I'm going to edit, and I'm going to add a widget. And this is going to be other HTML, and I paste that code right there. So I hit save, and that puts this widget right here. I'm going to move that. And when I hit save, I should see my map at the bottom of my front page. And there it is. And right now, it hasn't tracked any visitors, so there's no visitors on here. But by tomorrow, I should start seeing uh, little dots on here if people indeed have visited the site. Oh, yeah.